from time in memorial, we have seen that women have been stifled. That is a, that is the truth. And when I became commissioner of police, I said that you know we have to be fair to the women because sometimes we look at the women as only persons who can do secretarial work. Um, um, the, the, the boss wants a cup of coffee, give me a coffee. Uh, the place needs to be swept, sweep the place. You know, that's not the role of a woman in law enforcement. When a woman decides to join police, she decides to be a law enforcement officer, not a domestic worker. So we have to ensure that within the works, workspace, we make that clear distinction that they are women in law enforcement and not domestic workers. And so with that, I, I tried my best to make sure that by change that mindset, and you'll see that it has not really changed because every time we have a, a major post, a high-ranking post, and I would nominate a woman for the post. You hear the men, they rumble, and I go to Jules Vasquez, and oh, the commissioner is appointing this one, she's this and she's that. You know, it's just about their own personal ego and what they think that they're entitled to. And because of that, they fail to realize that the women are right there with them toe to toe, making sure that the task is being done. And so when I nominate a woman for a particular post, it's because I am sure that the woman has the capability. For the first time, we, we had a woman as a head of special branch. That was Miss Borden. And uh, as much as there was so many rumble when she took over, oh, she had no special branch experience, she's this, she's that, all sort of things. Miss Borden went to special branch and she performed exceptional as head special branch. So we see where women are excelling. Miss Augustine, who is the head of um, South Side Belize City, the most troubling policing area in the country. And uh, despite that, she has performed exceptionally well over the past two years. We saw crime going down in South Side Belize City, thanks to her hard work and the officers who worked with her. So again, we have to give kudos where it is due, and I salute the women of the Belize Police Department.